You know, I, I've always enjoyed just like sitting down with someone and talking to them. I think my best ideas come like when I'm talking and having good conversation. My name is Sophia Chang. I work in a number of different mediums. At the end of the day, I'm a storyteller. Sophia is a huge inspiration to us because it's, it's, it's all about the hustle for us and, and seeing somebody like Sophia be able to develop her skill set to now encompass so many different facets of creativity is exactly why we wanted to connect with her. She really tries to hone in on everything that New Yorkers love and she can really convey it through her art. Being from Queens, it's probably one of the most diverse boroughs. There was a lot of Asian people yeah. and Spanish people. And so, you know, like hip hop culture, sneaker culture has always been a big influence for me growing up. And when I was a freshman in high school, I would go to my friend's house and we would sit in front of her TV and watch MTV music videos. And then her sister would braid my hair. I'd have like full braids. <laughs> and we'd have like a jersey dress. I specifically just gravitated towards, you know, like yeah. what I grew up with. Sure, totally. So by the time I graduated, I was able to do my own magazine. I was able to like design clothing and stuff like that. It wasn't easy. There were little like things that I had to figure out on my own, but the foundation was there. I think all of us collectively at the same yeah. time is like we just got tired of working with the norm and then we're really trying to make our own path. Yeah. Like just overall, people need to be able to be open to think outside the box and be open to getting inspiration outside of the areas of your normal practice. Say you're a photographer, you can be inspired from you know someone's outfit through yeah. fashion, through art, through all of that. So Brooklyn Museum, there's like an exhibit up right now about sneaker culture, super dope. It's really exciting. I think it's the beginning of a dialogue. It's for the sure. beginning of a conversation for a sneaker culture to be presented on that pedestal, that platform where and like, you know, art. everyone, yeah, to be considered art, exactly next to like Basquiat's notebooks. They had a pair of my Puma baskets there and it was very well received. Um, I found out that it was the top grossing collaboration that Puma has ever put out, That's which sick. is sick. And that kind of goes back to kind of my upbringing and being a big fan of streetwear right, and right. sneakers. Totally. Like collaborations are everything. Yeah. So now that I'm actually in the professional like working field, it's really exciting for me to be able to work on all these like collaborative projects with, with different brands. And then now that I'm realizing that I have a brand and I have a following, you know, who I'm working with, I'm also being exposed to their, yeah. their audience and, and vice versa. I've found it very easy to transition from, you know, all these different types of canvases. For me, it's just an expression. Yes. It's not really like, like it's not like I'm like being manipulative or doing anything like that. Like I'm very aware of that perception. The same thing with inspiration, whether you're an artist or photographer or whatever, you dig into yourself and then like figure out what it is that you're interested in. And then yeah. when you speak from the heart, it just shows. Oh, totally. And then you can like, you have your voice. Yeah. Whenever people ask me what was my best project, I always say the next one. Because you do something and you put it out yeah, there and you let it live and then and then on to the next.